Brian here with you now. Welcome to my office. Let's examine these two volumes right here on the table. These are 19th century books. It's a set of sporting scenes. Here's the first volume. As you can see, the bindings are in quite rough shape. The front cover is uh, detached. It's beautiful marbled uh, covers with beautiful marbled end papers. That's actually a great book plate right there. The artist has signed it down in the lower corner. I attempted to magnify and look at that, but I simply can't read the signature. This is presented by Philo Ruggles, uh, this set. And I uh, am of the um, belief that this is a pseudonym, Philo Ruggles. It sounds like a, mm, like a pseudonym. And I'm not going to suggest that's the author's inscription, but I will suggest that it might be. <laughs> I don't know, but it's worth uh, pointing that out. Uh, the set is complete and tightly sewn. It has that frontis engraving as well as, uh, we just passed it right here, another engraving like so that's folding as issued as it should be. Uh, and this, of course, is actually the first um, appearance in print of the pseudonym Frank Forrester. Uh, it's actually uh, a, a significant uh, imprint and it uh, is like so. Volume 2 here, same issue. The leather dried along the joints and it has split. This is uh, scuffed and dried. It's still well attached, but over time with enough handling it might follow the first uh, cover, uh, the front cover. And here is again a second inscription. Um, and we have here the folding engraved plate as called for as a frontis there. And like this, and you see there is some moderate spotting throughout. This, the, uh, this is how the set survives. Uh, it came in as part of a collection, and this is not the type of thing I would uh, specifically attempt to purchase individually, but when it comes in as part of a collection, here we have it. And now uh, it will be priced to reflect the condition and to hopefully sell to a person who would like it. And that may be you, and if so, it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.